Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. I'm Brett Chapin, and uh, that's Engineer Paul Madrid over there. And uh, we're talking today with uh, director Sherry Kuhn and actor uh, Lucas Moore from 12 Angry Men, playing now at Theater Palisades, theaterpalisades.com. And if you have any questions for either one of them, make sure you give us a call, 1-800-336-2225. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank well, you thank for having you. us. So 12 Angry Men at Theater Palisades. Uh, you're about halfway through your run right now, a little more than halfway. Uh, tell well, us how it's going. It's going very, very well. This is a show that resonates with people. Mm -hmm. um, we have so many people coming in, bringing family members, bringing teenagers, uh, talking about it, as your engineer said, talking about their 12 Angry Men experience. Mm -hmm. So they're just, it, it reaches out to people in, in such a profound way. It does. It's such um, a well-known show and a well-respected show, mm -hmm. of course. Um, you know, from the movie, a lot of people know it, um, but the, the show is a little bit different than the movie, isn't it? Yeah, this mm -hmm. show, when it was adapted, it was based on the, uh, I may get this wrong, it's Playhouse 90 or Studio One teleplay that was written by Reginald Rose, who then went on to adapt the screenplay that became the Henry Fonda I remember movie. That was, I remember hearing that it was Studio One. Okay, great. Yeah, and I he adapted it. Well, he got the inspiration from it from his own jury experience, where he um, he was on a jury that had to decide if a homeless man had, uh, had who had stabbed someone had done it out of uh, premeditation or not. Huh. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, quite an inspiration to yeah. write a play off mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. So, what of uh, tell me about the casting process? What what was it like? Was it difficult to find the twelve angry men? Or no, it wasn't difficult. Um, we had we had actually a, I was the third director brought in on this for various reasons, but I had um, eight guys in place, and then I needed to find four. One of whom was Lucas, who was <laughs> recommended to me by a friend, who was playing juror number twelve, who is um, one of the younger members of the jury. Mm -hmm. And um, he plays an advertising man. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you enjoying it, Lucas? Is, is, it, uh, is there challenges? Just tell me about some of the challenges. Let's start off with that. Um, well, anytime you have 12 people on stage, <laughs> it's hard to balance them. And we're all on stage the entire show, mm -hmm. um, which is awesome because you really get to watch. I mean, in a moment when uh, this juror isn't talking you can watch them see how they're reacting and and just know what they're thinking the whole play and that's really exciting to see but it is challenging you have to um you have to figure out a a, a, a good pace mm -hmm. because uh you know that's important and fortunately i feel like uh these actors were very just with it and were able to just fall right into the pace mm -hmm. very easily and that's something that was just amazing you know because uh there are other shows where people drag or speed up these sure. are, yeah these guys are great the way they work together they they are fully committed we run we run 90 minutes without an intermission and they are fully present each one of those minutes and you can watch you can watch one guy talking to another guy and you can see three or four guys off in the corner having a conversation and really being alive not just sitting there waiting for their next line mm -hmm. that's great mm -hmm. so what drew you to to want to direct this show 12 angry men is there something in particular uh, uh, about the script or uh, uh, the script uh, it's it's our common humanity these are these are 12 what you would call types they don't have names they simply have their juror numbers mm -hmm. and it has a lot to do with a couple of things one of it is to me it goes back very much to uh what shakespeare says in uh in uh, the play with shylock um in the merchant of venice which is mm. it what we, we we do pray for mercy because in the course of justice none of us would see salvation so this is a man ask, actually um trying to sway with mercy and compassion and the other thing is that it's it's just it is that dynamic of people fighting and uh, as part of this process and when I've sat on jury duty it becomes very personal to you you want to get it right and to me that's a w marvelous thing about this system absolutely mm -hmm. And what about for you, Josh? Or excuse me, Lucas. What are some of the? <laughs> I don't know why we're calling you Josh all day, Lucas. What are some of the um, the things that drew you to want to work in the show? Well, I did this play in uh, college. I went to Vanguard University in uh, Orange County, and uh, they have a great theater program. Um, and uh, what could be considered a plus and a minus is that it was um, a co-ed cast. 
so we had to change the name to 12 Angry Jurors and have some women in there as well and you know in an educational environment that is you know necessary or or you know positive mm -hmm. um, but it was great to do this show with all men and uh, all age appropriate uh, simply because that's how it was written um, Absolutely. and uh, instead of a bunch of college students mixed together so that drew me to this play right off the bat but also the uh, just the plot and uh, it's it's unique and different with uh, the time everyone's on stage and and the no names and it's just a very dramatic uh, driven story it's also a little different it's a mystery but it's more like a who didn't do it rather yeah. than a who done it yeah yeah <laughs> I, I really, um, I'm, I'm with you guys. I, I think shows should be done the way they're written. You know, I don't, I, I understand for a college situation, 12 Angry Jurors, but I, I'm glad that you kept it 12 Angry Men for this, because that's how it was intended. Um, so what do you uh, both have coming up in, in the future? Anything um, exciting? Any new projects coming up in the future? Um, well, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm, writing a blog that I have and I post once a week new short fiction or poetry and that's kind of my ongoing thing I don't have anything else lined up at the moment that I um, that is solid enough to speak about <laughs> but and that's uh, uh, Thunder Mesa at blogspot.com yes, uh, Thunder Mesa dot blogspot dot com and so every week I have a new short story or uh, poem and that's just I like to write so it's a good thing to keep me uh, challenging myself do you find that helps you in your acting, being uh, a writer? Um, it does. I mean, there are, um, you'll write something and you'll think, oh, it has to be done a very specific way, especially in plays. And then you see an actor do it a totally different way, and you think, that's, that works too. That's really interesting. That's not how I wrote it, which is it's, it's, a, it's a bigger uh, deal to you than when you read a play and you think this is how it should be said and someone else says it different you you can say well there are many ways to read it but as a writer you think oh it has to be this way and mm -hmm. and then someone will surprise you with this uh, um, you know positive twist on what you wrote that you didn't think of uh, and as far as fiction goes I think there's a lot of character development that can help you as an actor as well Absolutely. Yeah, I love those stories about how a writer uh, writes a film or, or a play and then a director sees it a certain way and does it his way and it works. And it works mm -hmm. much better than yeah. the way the writer intended it. It's always nice to hear. That can happen when you're directing, too, because you come in with a vision and then the, it becomes a collaborative process and one day an, an actor will do something and you'll say, oh, wow, I wish I'd thought of that. Mm -hmm. Sure, <laughs> sure. But let's do it. Let's add it. Did you uh, throw any of your own vision uh, into the show? Uh, aside from what was written on the page? And if so, what did you bring? You know, it's funny because one of our, our actors, juror number three, likes to say that because I'm female, I brought in a, a more of an emphasis on relationships than he, he said mm. he'd experienced watching either of the film adaptations of this. Makes and sense. that is important to me. It is relationships, it is the subtext, it is everything that's going on between the lines. Absolutely. Well, uh, we'll be back in just a moment with uh, both of you to talk to you a little more. If you have uh, any questions uh, for either Lucas or Sherry Kuhn, uh, make sure you give us a call, 1-800-336-2225. We'll be back on La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. <laughs> 